Today, let's talk about some of the real problems in SEO. First of all, a big thank you for submitting your question earlier. How to improve my site ranking, best way to do on-page SEO with free tools, methods to find low competition keywords. In this video, I'll answer all of your questions by sharing the simple SEO actions that everyone can take immediately to improve ranking, and they're 100% free. Let's go. The very first thing you should always do is to check if your pages are indexed. The truth is, if search engines can crawl and not index your web pages, even if you have the best content, you can't rank for anything. You can easily check this using Google Search Console. If you don't know what Google Search Console is, it is a free tool by Google to help you to monitor the site performance on Google Search. You can install it using the Google Official Guide. I'll include that in the description. On Google Search Console, you can easily check the indexing status for any page using the URL inspector. Just put the page URL and it will show you the indexing status and when the page is last being crawled. Usually, there are three typical scenarios. Number one, page has been crawled and indexed. That's a happy scenario. That means Google is ready to show your page on search results. Number two, page is not crawled nor indexed. It can happen if your site is too new for Google to prioritize the crawling process. You can try to speed up the crawling by clicking Request Indexing. Nope, this is not a guarantee. There are still lots of factors for Google to decide whether to index your page or not, but it does help to speed up the crawling than waiting for Google to discover your page naturally. Number three, page is crawled but not indexed. Usually, it may be due to your topical authority score being too low or the content quality issues, or without enough signals for Google to consider it's worth to index. There are simple actions that I'm going to share to improve this. If you don't want to check URL by URL, you can also go to the page indexing report. And then you will see there is a section showing the pages that are not being indexed. There can be lots of different issues, but look for any pages that are marked with crawl, currently not indexed, which may be due to content issues. And then you can scan through the pages and prioritize the efforts to improve those that are of high value to your business. So to recap the actions, determine if any of your high value pages are not indexed on Google and prioritizing your content optimization efforts. The next action is to identify good keyword opportunities. I know this is not the answer you want to hear, but most of the brands I've talked to just take this step lightly and randomly pick a keyword that they love and start creating content. Of course, eventually you may still be able to rank for some keywords, but there is a better way. The number one mistake that most site owners make is there are too many target keywords for one piece of content. They throw keywords everywhere and their articles are cannibalizing from each other and competing for ranking, wasting lots of efforts building different content. Every page should have a primary target keyword, and I'm talking about important pages like your homepage, category page, blog page, etc. You can have different keywords on the same page to support a main theme, but eventually they should gear towards one primary keyword or topic. So what is considered a good keyword? In my opinion, it should at least fulfill these three criteria. Number one, relevant to your business or your niche. This is a must. Number two, have search demand. That means has a reasonable number of monthly searches. And number three, low to moderate competitions, especially for new and smaller sites so you can stand a chance to rank. I won't go deep on number one and two. I have covered a lot in my past videos. You can check it out. What I want to focus on is actually number three, how to find low competition keywords. And this is also a question I receive from you. The first way I always recommend is to check your existing ranked keywords because that's always the fastest way to improve ranking using existing content. One simple way to do it is on Search Console Performance Report, just filter the keywords with position between 11 to 25. That's keyword ranked on page two and three. These keywords will have the biggest ranking growth potential. If you want to be more strict, you can even set a filter only within position 20. So in this case, these keywords clock digital marketing that rank position 11 is a good one. And then identify what is the page by clicking the keyword. And so you can easily identify pages to prioritize your optimization efforts. If you don't have a search console installed, you can also use SEO tools like SEMrush, Ahrefs. For me, I now use SEO ranking, but that will be a pay option. Again, you can type your site domain and do the same analysis, filtering keywords with position 11 to 20 and identify these low competition keywords. 
Like this example for this parenting coaching site, the keyword CTFAR coaching model that is ranked on page two is a good one to optimize. So that is the first way using your existing ranked keywords. The second way is to target long tail keywords. Long tail keywords are keywords with three or more words. They tend to have lower competition than short and broad keywords. Let's say you have a parenting site and you have a page targeting the keyword bedtime routines. You can check its difficulty score using the free extra keyword difficulty checker or any SEO tools that you use. Obviously, that is a competitive and difficult keywords with a KD score more than 50. So what we can do is to target the long tail version for these keywords. One way I love is to use the auto-complete features. Just type your original keywords and then you will see lots of long tail keyword options. Google shows these keywords because there is a real search demand. Another tool that I recently discovered is from Addy.ai. They have a handy autocomplete tool that shows all the top autocomplete keywords on major search engines, and not just Google, but also Bing, Yahoo, YouTube, Amazon. For example, for these keywords, bad time routines, I can see bad time routines for toddlers seems to occur a lot for most search engines. And then I can double check its difficulty score. You can see it's much more doable than the keyword bad time routines. Although you can see the top random results have high authority score, the pages are obviously not targeted for these keywords, so there's still a chance to outrank them. So review your chosen keywords on the difficulty and how you can trade it to make it easy to rank. You can even ask AI to brainstorm a list of long tail keywords and double check the data using a free tool. And eventually, by ranking more long tail keywords variations, you're accumulating signals to Google that your site is relevant to the primary topic and improve the overall ranking. So to recap our actions, identify good keywords with your existing ranked keywords on page two and three, or to target different long tail versions of your keyword to increase the search visibility and your chance to rank. The next simple action is to review the core SEO elements. Although nowadays we have AI search, Technical on-page SEO elements are still important in helping AI search engines or humans to understand the page content quickly. The top three elements that are always on my list are number one, page title, number two, H1 tag, and number three, URL slug. And I would say the page title and the H1 tag are the most important. Back to the previous example, this page is currently ranked on page two for the keyword CT4 coaching model. You can install this free Chrome extension and easily check the three core SEO elements. Obviously, the page title, H1, and the URL slug are not optimized, and it is confusing for both search engines and the audience to know what this page is about. So if I need to improve the ranking for this page, I will update the page title and H1 to include the target keyword. Maybe simply saying the CT4 model, or if you don't have any ideas, just look through those top ranked pages and see what page title they're using and do something similar. So in this case, we can also use the keyword self-coaching model, CD4 models, to capture more keyword opportunities. A bonus tip is try to put your target keyword near to the front position of the page title. It is not a must, but it can help your target audience to understand the topic faster and drive a high click rate on the search result page, which is a good signal to Google. So to recap our actions, once you confirm a good target keyword from the previous step, review these core SEO elements to ensure it's basically optimized for search. Now, the next action to do is to improve the content relevance. To make it really simple for you, there are only two aspects you should take note. Number one, if your content satisfies the search intent. Number two, if your content uses different semantic or NLP keywords enough to add context for that topic. To determine the search intent for a target keyword, you can check the top random results, looking through the top page and what information that they deliver. For example, for these bedtime routines for toddlers, obviously the audience are looking for what is considered a good bedtime routine and what are some tips to build one. Another way to do it is use perplexity AI. Simply ask it to analyze the top results and give you initial ideas about the search intent, and then it will immediately put information about that. Another way is to use Notebook LM, import all the top ranked pages, and then analyze the main points as well as the keywords that they use. I've covered that in another video, you can check this out. 
For Perplexity, you can use the free versions. Notebook LM is also free. So review your content and see if you've missed anything and ensure your content address what the audience wants for that keywords. A bonus tip is try to find any fresh angle to cover in your content and never just copy your competitors' ideas. Another action is to add more semantic or NLP keywords to improve the content relevance and context around your target keyword. In simple terms, semantic keywords are conceptually related to a target keyword or topic, while NLP keywords generally means keywords that are extracted using natural language processing techniques. Let's say I optimize this content for the keyword toddler discipline. That's currently ranked on page two. One way to identify the NLP keywords is to use this keyword extractor from through.com. Type in one of the top ranked page URL, and then you will see the top keywords used in the content. Then copy them. Then on Claw or any AI tools that you use, ask it to analyze these keywords and compare it against my content and to propose 50 NLP keywords that appear in the competitor articles but are missing from my article. So you can see these are some good keywords you should consider putting in an article to improve the context. For example, toddlerhood, tactics, framework, practitioner. An important note is never do cure stuffing. Always put them in a natural way where it fits. So to recap the action, spend some efforts to understand the search intent for chosen keywords. Satisfy the intent in your content as well as adding more semantic keywords to improve the relevance using the free tools. The next simple action is to add internal links. Internal links are always overlooked, but this is really simple actions everyone can do. And it is especially important if you have a new domain as it helps search engines to understand your site structure faster and speed up the crawling and indexing process. Process. And I always recommend adding at least three relevant internal links for your content. And the more content you write, you may need one to two more internal links. If there is nothing relevant on your page that you can link to, that means you haven't published enough content for a particular topic. Another tip is always use descriptive and relevant anchor tags and keep it natural. Like this article about toddler discipline. Note how it is using relevant keywords for placing internal links like biting, control misbehavior, spanking. So to recap these actions, review your existing content and add at least three relevant internal links. Another simple action is adding more rich media like videos, images to enhance the user experience and to optimize for image search visibility. And these are all good signals to improve your ranking. You can simply type your keywords, let's say bedtime routines for toddlers and see what kind of images are being shown often. Is it a chart? a graph, an image, and then you can get an idea what rich media to add to your content. Like in this case, we can see most of them are related to a checklist or scheduled image, and that means the audience is more likely looking for such media. So like this article, they create an image about a sample routine schedule, and then you can also make sure your content includes something similar. A bonus tip is always make sure your image is relevant to your content and unique and don't just randomly flow images everywhere. And also try using a descriptive file name for image and so to help the machines to understand the context faster as it scans the codes. So to recap the actions, review your high value pages and see if you can add more rich media to improve the search visibility based on the Google image search results for that target keyword. So now you know these six simple actions, I also want to share a cool page comparison tool that I discovered. It's free, again, that is from through.com. It allows you to compare the key SEO elements between two pages side by side. If we use the previous example for the target keyword self-coaching model, you can put the top rank page and then your page URL, and then it will compare the key SEO elements side by side, which is really helpful like the page title, URL, word counts, image counts, internal links, the content outline, and even some unique keywords that appear on this top ranked page. Of course, there are lots of other factors why the page ranks higher than you, but with this tool, you can quickly identify the on-page SEO areas and adjust immediately and to improve the ranking. And also, you can always use other paid AI writing tools, but if you are just starting out or you're only working for your own brand and you are not not running an agency, then these are simple actions you can take for completely free. So try this action and let me know how it goes. And before you go, I also highly encourage you to watch this video about optimizing for AI search. 
because AI search is not the future, it is now. In that video, I share the key areas you should focus on to optimize for the AI search experience. And if you have more questions about SEO, let me know in the comments and I will see you next time.